Michelangelo Marisi de Caravaggio, born in 1571, is one of the most celebrated and influential painters of the Baroque period, known for revolutionizing painting techniques and themes. A pivotal element of Caravaggio's artistry is his innovative use of chiaroscuro, a technique that dramatically contrasts light and dark, bringing a heightened sense of realism and emotional depth to his paintings. Chiaroscuro, which means light-dark in Italian, refers to the method of using strong contrasts between light and shadow to give the illusion of three-dimensional volume in figures and objects. Caravaggio took this technique to new heights, turning it into a defining characteristic of his work, and, through this, he created a unique visual language that impacted both his contemporaries and later generations of artists. The Evolution of Chiaroscuro The use of light and shadow as an artistic technique is as old as art itself. Ancient artists and Renaissance painters like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo understood the importance of shading and creating depth. However, their use of chiaroscuro was generally more subtle and delicate, focusing primarily on enhancing the realistic depiction of subjects. Da Vinci, for instance, applied soft transitions between light and shadow to model the forms of figures like in his masterpiece Mona Lisa, where there is a delicate play of light on her face, revealing a serene, almost enigmatic expression. Caravaggio, however, used chiaroscuro in a more extreme manner, often casting his scenes into deep, dramatic darkness from which sharply illuminated figures emerge, as if caught in the light of a theatrical spotlight. The boldness and intensity of his chiaroscuro style had never been seen before in Western art. His application was not only about achieving three-dimensionality but also about creating drama, tension, and focus. In Caravaggio's hands, chiaroscuro became a tool not only for representation but also for storytelling. The Technique of Caravaggio's Chiaroscuro Caravaggio's Chiaroscuro is characterized by stark contrasts, with his figures emerging from dark, almost black backgrounds. These figures are illuminated by a bright, often single light source, which emphasizes the volume and contours of their forms. This lighting is rarely soft or diffused. Instead, it is sharply defined, casting deep shadows and brightly lighting parts of the scene. The effect is heightened by Caravaggio's rejection of unnecessary detail in the background, instead, leaving expanses of darkness that focus attention entirely on the figures and their actions. One of the distinctive aspects of Caravaggio's use of chiaroscuro is how he used light to direct the viewers out of the emotional heart of the scene. His paintings often depict moments of intense emotional or spiritual significance, moments of revelation, martyrdom, or divine intervention, and the light serves as a guide, highlighting the key aspects of the narrative while the surrounding darkness evokes a sense of mystery and tension. For example, in The Calling of St. Matthew, 1599-1600, Caravaggio employs light to focus on the moment of divine intervention when Christ calls Matthew, a tax collector, to follow him. The beam of light, which seems almost divine in nature, illuminates Matthew and the surprised expressions of those around him, while the background is cloaked in shadow. This dramatic use of light and dark heightens the spiritual and emotional impact of the scene, transforming what could have been a simple moment into one of profound significance. Chiaroscuro and Realism in Caravaggio's Work Caravaggio's extreme contrasts of light and dark are often paired with his naturalistic depiction of human figures, creating a sense of realism that was both revolutionary and controversial in his time. Unlike many of his contemporaries who idealize their figures, presenting them as flawless and somewhat detached from the physical world, Caravaggio painted his subjects with an intense, gritty realism. His figures have dirt under their nails, wrinkles, and worn clothing. His saints and biblical figures often look like ordinary people, and this directness, combined with his use of chiaroscuro, lends an almost tactile reality to his paintings. In The Conversion of St. Paul, 1600-1601, for instance, Caravaggio's intense chiaroscuro transforms what could have been a standard religious narrative into a visceral, human experience. The fallen figure of St. Paul is bathed in light, highlighting his muscular form and the shocked expression on his face as he experiences his conversion, while the surrounding darkness emphasizes his isolation at this crucial moment of transformation. The realism of Paul's figure, his posture, the dirt on his body, combined with the intense lighting makes the viewer feel as if they are witnessing this powerful moment firsthand. Caravaggio's realistic depictions were not merely about accuracy, they were designed to elicit an emotional response from the viewer. By pairing realism with the heightened drama of chiaroscuro, Caravaggio was able to engage the viewer on both a visual and emotional level, creating a powerful sense of immediacy and presence. Chiaroscuro is a storytelling tool. One of the reasons Caravaggio's use of chiaroscuro was so effective is because he understood how to use light and shadow to tell stories. Light in his paintings is not just a technical device, it is an integral part of the narrative. It often symbolizes divine presence, grace, or revelation, while darkness suggests ignorance, sin, 
or human suffering. This symbolic use of light and shadow was especially effective in Caravaggio's religious paintings, where the spiritual significance of the scene is enhanced by the dramatic lighting. In Judith Beheading Holofernes, 1599, Caravaggio uses light to focus on the gruesome action at the center of the scene, the moment when Judith decapitates the Assyrian general Holofernes. The strong light illuminates Judith's determined face and the blood spurting from Holofernes' neck, while his body recedes into darkness. The chiaroscuro enhances the brutality of the scene, making it all the more shocking, but it also conveys Judith's role as an instrument of divine justice, acting in the light while Holofernes is consumed by shadow. This ability to use chiaroscuro to heighten the emotional and symbolic aspects of a narrative is one of the reasons Caravaggio's paintings were so impactful in their time. His use of light and shadow was not just about creating three-dimensionality or realism, but about enhancing the spiritual and psychological depth of his subjects, Caravaggio's influence on later artists. Caravaggio's innovative use of chiaroscuro had a profound impact on the art world, influencing generations of painters both during his lifetime and after. His dramatic contrasts of light and dark, combined with his realism, gave rise to the style known as Caravagism, which was adopted by many of his followers, known as the Caravagisti. One of the most famous of these followers was the Dutch artist Rembrandt van Rijn, whose own use of chiaroscuro was deeply influenced by Caravaggio. Rembrandt, like Caravaggio, used light and shadow not only to create three-dimensional forms but also to convey emotional and psychological depth in his portraits and narrative scenes. Artists across Europe, from Spain to France to the Netherlands, were influenced by Caravaggio's chiaroscuro, integrating his techniques into their own work and contributing to the spread of Baroque style throughout Europe. In addition to influencing individual artists, Caravaggio's use of chiaroscuro played a crucial role in shaping the development of Baroque art more broadly. The Baroque period is often characterized by its emphasis on drama, movement, and emotional intensity, and Caravaggio's chiaroscuro technique became one of the hallmarks of this style. His paintings, with their intense light and shadow, their emotional realism, and their sense of immediacy, encapsulate many of the key characteristics of Baroque art. Caravaggio's use of chiaroscuro was revolutionary in its time and remains influential today. By pushing the boundaries of light and shadow, Caravaggio was able to create paintings that were not only visually striking but also emotionally and spiritually profound. His ability to use chiaroscuro as both a technical and narrative tool set him apart from his contemporaries and solidified his place as one of the most important artists in the history of Western art. Through his work, Caravaggio transformed chiaroscuro from a mere technique into a powerful means of storytelling, and his legacy continues to resonate in the art world today.